for the first of our New Year messages, the Pathé called on Lady Megan Lloyd George, Member of Parliament for Anglesey and daughter of the most famous Welshman of the 20th century. She had this to say about the future. A happy and prosperous New Year to you all from across the Welsh border. Blwydi newydd a As we face 1947, we all have our own individual fears and hopes. For Wales, well, we remember the dark years of the 30s, and we have our fears, quite naturally, I think. But we have our hopes, too. We hope that this time, young Welsh men and women may be able to find work and build their homes and their futures in their native Wales. And we hope, too, that we will have our fair share of the industrial revival of Britain and of the benefits of that peace which we pray that all nations may enjoy. Every blessing on my native country. Poor Bendith are in unwillad. Next, a word from modernist, sculptor and artist Jack Bilbo. Any fool can put a bullet into anyone. It takes a clever man to remove that bullet. Any fool can be anti and destroy. It takes a clever man to be pro and to create. Any fool can hate but a very few are able to love. In despair and danger, humanity always was united. Why not unite now to prevent another war? Dr. Kevin O'Flanagan, Arsenal's Irish rugby and soccer international, sends a message to Irishmen. Ladies and gentlemen, may I take this opportunity of wishing you all a very happy and a very prosperous new year, especially to all Irishmen all over the world. I do hope the new year will bring us those happier times for which we have been waiting so long. And this is Mrs. Matthews, a housewife. Now I've got my new home, I'm very happy. And I hope all the people that need new homes get theirs in the new year. And a happy new year to all. At the theatre, we met the film and stage success of 1946, Birmingham's Sid Field. Well, I must say, I didn't expect to find a film camera in the wings. However, I'm very honoured to think that you've come along to see me. And my hopes for 1947 are your hopes. More to eat, more to wear, less tax, longer summer and shorter queues. A happy new year to you all. What a performance! And for Scotland, Edinburgh MP, Sir William Darling. Good morning, Sir William. Good morning. Will you please give us your New Year message for 1947? I will give you that with very great pleasure. New Year's Day is a very important day for we Scots people. We appreciate the importance of new beginnings, and New Year's Day is a new beginning for us all. Behind us there are mistakes and blunders and regrets, but today all things are new. History is behind us, and history is before us. Let us make then something more of the history of our country. But let us not forget that we can make no history for our country unless we make something of our own lives. And so for you and me, for Scots men and Scots women everywhere, let this be not only a New Year's Day, but a good New Year. <laughs> 